Welcome to Fallout 76. This is Jim. So as promised, I plan on making a few videos on the builds that I have. I have three builds in total. I have a rifleman build, a shotgunner build, and a heavy gunner build. I've already have made a video on the rifleman build. And for this video, I'm going to focus on the shotgunner build. Let's take a look at my stats. These stats never change. I have bird bones, strength minus one, reduce fall speed, agility plus four, carnivore, eat meat, but not veggies, no disease, and two times the benefits. Now you've watched me eat veggies in the past for daily weekly challenges. I can eat veggies, they just do not benefit my character. But for daily and weekly challenges, so they count, I will eat veggies. Eagle Eyes. Strength minus one. Perception plus four. Crit damage plus 50%. Healing Factor. Heal region plus 300%. Chem Effects minus 13%. Marsupial plus jump height. Intelligent minus one. Carry weight plus 20. Speed Demon. Move speed plus 20. Reload speed, hunger, and thirst, plus 50% while moving. All right. Now we're going to take a look at the perk cards. Now this is not a bloody build. It's just a regular shotgunner build. I have 15 strength, 4 perception, 6 endurance, 7 charisma, 11 intelligence, 12 agility, and 6 luck. This particular layout is what makes me happy. I don't really run the shotgunner build very often anymore. However, I will use this build for daily and weekly challenges, so I keep it updated. So let's look at the strength. I have two traveling pharmacy. I'm not gonna go over what each card does, but uh, two traveling pharmacy, one sturdy frame, three pack rat, three master shotgunner, three shotgunner, three expert shotgunner. I think that's it, yeah. Under perception, we have concentrated fire, two, and then two skeet shooter. Either under endurance, I have ironclad, three, and three fireproof. Under charisma, I have two lawn wanderer, three suppressor, two tenderizer. Under Intelligence, I have one First Aid, five Demolition Expert, five Gunsmith. Under Agility, I have two Action Boy, three Covert Operative, three White Knight, three Enforcer, one Mr. Sandman. Under Luck, I have one Better Criticals, three Class Freak, two Starched Jeans. Now, as I say, most of these will remain the same, um, the only one I may substitute a card for is one is under Charisma and it is called the Hard Bargain Perk Card. It's just for buying and selling better prices at vendors. So I'll swap them out once in a while. The next one would be under Agility. I will swap out for Ammo Smith. If I'm, if I'm crafting ammo, it doesn't happen very often, but if I am for daily, weekly challenge challenges, I'll swap them out and under luck I'll swap out for super duper super duper I have level 3 when you craft anything there is a 30% chance you'll get double results pretty good card to have all right now under legendary perk cards these are the same as the rifleman build no changes I have four star follow through one star far flung fireworks, one star legendary charisma, one star legendary agility, three star legendary luck, two star master infiltrator. Now I've showcased this particular card a few times on my channel in certain uh, daily weekly challenges and I highly, highly recommend this card. It just makes your life a whole lot easier. Okay. That's that. As I said, that 
particular lineup once upon a time I ran with. It made me happy for what I do because my character, I focus on daily, weekly challenges, but uh, I don't really use the shotgun or build much anymore. Let's take a look at the uh, weapons I usually have for the shotgunner. Got our weapons workbench here. Oh, hit craft instead. Sorry. We'll X it out. We'll go modify. All right, so we get this cold shoulder here. Cold shoulder is a uh, level or a rank four reward on the season 12 scoreboard. It's pretty cool. I really like this shotgun. It's pretty neat. Uh, the daily weekly challenges come up once in a while and uh, so I kind of decided to kind of hang on to it. It's uh, plus 50% damage to cryptids, target freezes causing reduced movement speed for four seconds, and adds cryo damage. And that one best, uh, I would say, legendary effect, quadruple ammo capacity for this double barrel shotgun is awesome. Love it. So this shotgun has 213 damage, has 120 cryo damage, Shotgun shells, of course. Fire rate, 36. Range of 54. Accuracy, 36. And the weight is 10.32. Now, just because this is called the cold shoulder, basically, it's a double barrel shotgun. So you can pick up all kinds of double barrel shotguns. You can craft all kinds of double barrel shotguns if you have the plan, and then scrap them from those from the scrapping of all those double barrel shotguns you have a chance to learn a mod and any one of those mods can be put on this cold shoulder just in case you didn't know so let's check out what I have on this cold shoulder I have the hardened receiver superior damage a line long barrel superior range improved recoil hip fire accuracy Stabilized stock, superior recoil, reflex sight dot, better focus, sighted accuracy, muzzle brake, improved per shot recoil, recoil inferior range, and of course the cold shoulder paint, which is awesome. For those of you who've watched the videos of me using this particular shotgun, it kind of has that uh, really cold kind of ice kind of vapor coming off the gun, like dry ice. It is awesome. I wish we had this uh, skin for all the weapons. Definitely buy it. All right. The other shotgun that I used to run back in the day was this one right here. Just the one shotgun. It is a fear, furious, free states, suppressed combat shotgun, three star. Bullets explode for 3% weapon damage, plus 50 damage resistance while aiming, plus 5% damage after each consecutive hit on the same target, up to 45%. So this one I used a lot. It's won me many battles. It uh, pretty much got me through uh, a lot of the story quest line. It's a pretty good weapon. Highly recommend one of these combat shotguns. Pretty cool. All right, so it has 230 damage. Shotgun shells, of course. Fire rate of 20. Range of 54. Accuracy of 80. And the weight is 14.42. Let's look at see what the mods I have on it. Hardened receiver. Superior damage. Stabilized long barrel, superior range, recoil. Stabilized stock, superior recoil. Perforating magazine, superior armor penetration. Long scope, superior magnification. Now I have a long scope on a shotgun, yes. <laughs> yes I do, because I can for one. And the second reason is uh, when you run this particular kind of build, I didn't really have too much other weapons on me. So I used the long scope basically just to kind of look in the distance, 
just to see what I'm kind of going up against. Of course, I got a suppressor. Silence his weapon. Improved per shot recoil. Recoil. Inferior range. And then, of course, I got this free states paint. Pretty cool. And those are pretty much the weapons for the uh, shotgun. As I say, back in the day, this is the only one that I really ran with. I did have a couple uh, double barrels back in the day, but I just ended up scrapping them. And then just happened to be this uh, particular season 12, we get this double barrel shotgun, so uh, I decided to keep it. And as I say, I don't run the shotgun or build too much anymore. I basically just have them around just for uh, daily, weekly challenges. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a nice day.